Organization is key to any computer repair business. And every repair business, I'm sure, has their own special way of staying organized. And I have mine. I want to show you one of mine here. Hello everyone, I'm Tim with Tim'sComputerFix.net here in Savannah, Georgia. If you're ever in need of a computer repair, please look me up if you're in my area. I'll be glad to help you out. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we repair a hinge on a G60 laptop, HP G60. We get those, we get laptops in quite often with hinge problems. Uh, you'll be seeing quite a few videos uh, here on my channel showing hinge repairs because they are quite common. It really comes in handy when we get certain model laptops and we can go straight to this piece of paper and we can look and see if we have uh, any spare parts that would fit the job that we're trying to repair. And um, you know that way we, we can look on this before we go getting online and trying to shop for parts. So that's kind of it's kind of the way I do it. But as of right now, we're going to replace a hinge on a HP G60 and we actually did have a part in stock for this as you'll see. So um, let's just um, let's just have a look at how this repair is done. Okay, here's our HP G60 that came into our shop. This has a busted hinge, and we're going to be replacing that. This customer has been using this laptop with this busted hinge for quite some time, as you can see here. It's all ripped up. They tried to use tape. We actually have a spare HP G60 laptop in our stock with a dead motherboard that we're going to use to fix this hinge issue. And you can see these are some nice hinges on this on this one so that worked out pretty well. We're now able to swap hinges or top lids whichever we prefer to do. We can switch the whole top lid out. These you can see the eyelets are in the bottom shell of the used of uh, our spare part box. So we have a full range of parts to swap and mix and match however we would want to go about this. And as usual, we'll start off by removing the battery and then removing the back panel bay doors. Just a couple of few screws. These pop right off to expose the hard drive. And there's another one here that'll expose your memory. Then there's one more that'll expose your wireless card. We'll just start off with that. After that, we can proceed to remove the hard drive. There's uh, one screw here holding it into place. Just remove that screw. Up. Oh, there's another one. There's two. And we can just kind of slide this hard drive out of its slot. Lift up. And there you go. The memory can now be removed. Now the reason why I'm removing all of this is because we're going to actually have to swap the motherboard into a whole other bottom shell. The actual eyelets in the bottom shell that hold the hinge into place that the screws go down into have come loose. So we're going to be swapping out this entire motherboard. Next step here is to remove all the screws from the bottom of the laptop. Pretty simply done. We can also slide our DVD drive out once that screw's gone. And we'll be careful of knowing which size screw goes into which area. Usually the smaller screws will go where the battery compartment is, but pay close attention to to the screw sizes. We got our marked areas for our keyboard so we'll remove those two also and that will allow us to remove our keyboard. Alright once we have our screws out we can open the laptop up and we can proceed now to remove the keyboard. 
there's just a couple of uh, latches here up top that latch it into place. We just kind of pull up on it and it comes right off. No problem. Remove the ribbon cable carefully. And then we can start to remove the button cover and there and then all the other ribbon cables that we see here below the touch pad or palm rest area so being very gentle we will just remove every wire unplug every wire connector every ribbon cable and then we're going to start to pull these uh, pull these wireless uh, antenna wires out of their slots take note where these go because you'll have to put them back and now we can just undo these screws here these screws here are actually the screws that hold down the hinge so relatively easy to get to here once these screws are out and you have the antenna wires out of their traces there we can lift the screen out gently and you can see here this is pretty mangled that customer uses for quite some time with it busted like that so and they tried to use tape to hold it it's a pretty pretty poor situation there there's our hinge just broke right off with the eyelets still on them that's supposed to be attached to the bottom shell but we'll just go ahead and continue on here to remove these ribbon cables because now we want to try to get this palm rest off so any ribbon cables or plugs that you see plugged into the board, you know, undo those. And then whatever screws you see here, basically, along the entire top of the palm rest, just need to come, come off. You just remove all the screws that you see. Pretty simple. Again, take a note of where these screws go back and with the sizes. And then now this palm rest simply unsnaps from the bottom shell you can use a spudger kind of work your way around they kind of unsnap now if you have to use any force that means you missed a screw so be careful and you can see here how that just comes right off we can set that aside that exposes our motherboard you can see here our old and our new down at the bottom we have uh we have our replacement so we'll just go ahead and remove the motherboard but first, there's a few things we need to take off before we do that. One is um, we have speakers here that we need to disassemble. And the other is on the underneath, we need to be sure we, we remove the BIOS battery because it's kind of attached to that bottom shell. So that's real important there to, to remove the BIOS battery before we try to pull the board out. We're going to go ahead and work on these speakers here. Just a couple of screws hold those down. Pull those out. Not a problem. That set it aside and now we're able to get to any of the other screws that hold this motherboard down now if you don't have a bottom shell that to use laying around in your shop uh, just look at the make and model of that of that laptop the, and the g60 and look on look on eBay you might be able to find some spare parts there you want to match up the part number of that bottom shell to the part number listed on a seller on eBay be sure you get the right part that's pretty important but here we go we've got our screws out of the motherboard again take note where those go back in and now we can just remove our board gently it comes right out like so it's power jack still attached to it Okay, well you can't tell from this video, but we have now swapped with our spare part bottom shell. So we're going to go ahead and put the motherboard back in. Like I say, this is a good bottom shell that we just swapped out. We'll just place our motherboard back in and kind of do everything in reverse. Put our speakers back on. Plug in for our other USBs on the side, our spare USBs, got our speaker connection there, 
we can put the screws back in to secure the motherboard back into place make sure they go back where they originally came out we can put our BIOS battery back in place yeah so we're ready for the palm rest now we put our palm rest back on get all of our ribbon cables plugged back in get our screws back on there Every, like I say everything in reverse pretty straightforward as long as you keep track of your screws and know the locations where they go back and then of course we're going to go with what we our biggest problem which is our hinge here's our new hinge that we got from our spare parts box we're going to go ahead and get that into place both sides no problem those go right back on and we can get our screen back on we'll just put our screen back into place actually that the hinges really went back on the back lid so we got our hinges on the back lid but at any rate you get the idea we got our new hinge on those are attached to our back lid so we replaced the entire back lid too and we can secure these down then we can put our wireless antennas back into place feed them back in on both sides and we can secure them down kind of tough there for you through the bottom to where they attach to the wireless card this is our caps lock light that we're plugging in down here be sure we get our caps lock light put back into place and here's our cable for our video and then from that point we'll just inspect be sure everything's in place right and from this point we can go ahead and maybe pull out our screen we're going to take that out of the old out of the old bezel we're going to pull the old bezel off because remember we replaced the whole top lid too out of all of our spare parts so because we had our hinges that were connected to them we'll go ahead and just disconnect what we need to disconnect here to pull our screen out which that connects to the camera pull out the old ribbon cable and now we're ready to swap the screen take off these brackets and we'll screens now in place We've just reconnected everything there all right at this point we're going to go ahead and put the button board back on and we'll connect the ribbon cable here to the button board we're going to test this at this point is a great time to test it so we'll just plug it in and power it up and it's kind of off the camera a little bit there off center but you can see the letters there that pop up your post screen so we have now confirmed testing that you know the laptop at least turns on and we get we get a post so that's a good sign so we can continue with the continue with the with the finals of the repair all right well pretty much i'm going to end this video here well you know the keyboard's going back on but we'll end this video here or you get the idea uh just basically you know get your bezel put on around your screen area there and and uh flip the guy over and and put all your screws back in on the bottom install your memory and your hard drive uh this job was a success really i just wanted to show how we repaired the hinge problem on a hp g60 and basically you know we replaced the whole bottom shell and we replaced uh the whole back lid uh, that may not be necessary i think each case is different so just you know this video hopefully will help somebody who's looking to try to replace one or both the the bottom shell the top lid the hinge anyways i hope this has helped somebody but uh anyway thanks for watching please subscribe to my feed i would appreciate it and uh yep until next time everyone see you soon